Hi, so Mark and I have recently switched our chickens over to a mobile chicken coop. We've got the electric poultry netting and um, he built me this chicken tractor over here. So that way we can move them around and get them in on some fresh greens and stuff like that and just move them around the yard and that way they're still protected and they're staying out of my gardens. Um, one of the obstacles I had to think about was the waterer because currently, well in the past, not currently, but in the past they were hooked into my rabbit water system. So they had a nipple and everything like that. It was hooked up to a 50 gallon drum and everything kind of flowed together. Um, with moving them to the mobile coop, we had to figure out what to do with water. They're accustomed to the water nipples. I like the water nipples because it keeps the water nice and clean. Um, the problem was this structure here doesn't really work. I have my feet in there right now and it's a little heavy. It's on a, a rotary motor. Um, it's just a hog, a uh, um, like a deer corn feeder. It just goes off a couple times a day and sends food all over the place. I wanted to change it up a little bit. We've got a lot of chickens going right now. We had, um, we did a round of meat birds and they're getting big. They really need to be butchered. But right now we just have too many chickens for this to keep up with their feed needs. So um, we're probably gonna be rethinking this whole thing. I've got to butcher those chickens and that will thin my numbers down. Um, this structure needs to be rebuilt because it's, it's pretty heavy and it's not super sturdy. But um, in the meantime, I wanted to figure out something else to do with the water. Um, this was just temporary, it's just a bucket we found. The lid keeps falling off because it's just hung up real quick. But we just put one of those old style nipples on it and it works, it works okay. But I was at Tractor Supply a couple, probably about a week ago, and I found they had this new style of bin feeder with these new nipples. But the problem was it was $50. And I'm not spending $50 on it, especially when I know how much those nipples cost. So I got on Amazon and I found the nipples. It was like $10 for a 12 pack. Let me show these to you. And why they're different than the hanging ones like this, that you have to, you have to hang your bucket. So, oh, that's not what I need. I found these. They screw into the side of a bucket. So, screw through a side of the bucket and then the water kind of sits on this little cup thing right here. And it's got a spring in there and they, they peck at that silver piece and it pushes it back. And you can see there's the gasket there to stop the water when they're not pecking at it. But this little cup thing fills up with water and that's how they drink. So it keeps the water nice and clean. It keeps them from like this mo this thing right here because the, the lid keeps falling off of it because it's bent weird from hanging. They keep climbing on top of it. They're getting dirt in it. Anytime it rains, you know, it, it just, it gets dirty water. So I made this quick over here. I got a five gallon bucket from our local hardware store and it comes with super clear directions on how to use it, but there it is. And they're already, they're already drinking from it. They figured it out and uh, monkey see monkey do. So one figured it out and they're all kind of doing it. But instead of spending $50 on the one from Tractor Supply, I found the nipples and I, they were under $20 for the whole setup. So check out chicken nipples on Amazon or anywhere that you get any of your poultry supply sort of stuff. I think this was what, Rent-A-Coop? I've never used the brand before, but the nipples are um, pretty hardy and the directions are super clear and they were very affordable. So, yeah, just want to show that to you guys. Well, that took them about five seconds to figure out. 